So Emily's trying to get some better sleep. Because I don't have sleep problems. Yeah, unfortunately he doesn't have sleep problems. I do. I don't sleep well. I can't fall asleep. I can't stay asleep. I can't get comfortable. I'm too hot. I'm too cold. My nose is stuffy. There's so many different factors. I'm thinking too much. So, I've been trying to help Emily sleep better since I met her. I haven't figured anything out concrete yet. We've been trying out a couple different things. Um, screen, I was reading articles about the this, this screen giving off blue light that interferes with your sleep. Um, trying to ratchet down the intensity of activities before sleep when it comes to like watching action shows and movies and stuff and the thing that's worked best so far why'd you take it away babe um so far sleeping with a wedge pillow helps because my nose gets really stuffy at night so that kind of alleviates some of the pressure on my face i guess um, also switching to a more comfortable mattress pad so it's nice and soft, um, that really helps too. I mean my comfortable mattress pad? It's, we have a memory foam bed with a quilted down comforter that's over the mattress. <laughs> so it's comfortable. So like a fitted sheet that goes over the foam because the foam's too hard? Yeah. Too firm. Too firm? I feel like Goldilocks, the three bears. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's interesting that that's what's worked best so far. Because um, I thought it would be like a lifestyle thing. Well, you know, everybody has different differences. But, um... You know, what works for Emily wouldn't necessarily work for somebody else. What for somebody else wouldn't necessarily work for Emily. I don't even, I don't even think it work for myself because I'm good. But, hey. I mean, I also work out at night, so it's more consistent. Um, kind of exhausting myself at night. Um, unwinding with, like, a hot shower also helps. Um, and when I can't really sleep, I take some melatonin, which relaxes me and puts me to sleep. So... Some things. Some aids. <laughs> well, the search is going to continue. I mean, we were like, I feel like it's a journey and we're taking some steps along the way and we're like almost there, but it needs like a finisher. And that finisher is going to tip the tide to everything that's going on. And Emily will conquer the sleep demons and then be a better person for it. Less cranky in the morning, less coffee hungering, you know? I love coffee. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you close this out? Um, what helps you sleep? Because I would love any tips. Because <laughs> he's been trying for three years and I'm still not sleeping well. Hey, I did find a wedge. You did? I found a wedge. You did. 